Hello everyone, in this tutorial we are going to use a password uh, We write a program to change a password The user wants to change their password Therefore, must the user first enters his old password The correct password is uh, this one And about uh, it, enter the password is correct the program should ask for a new one the user must repeat it new uh, new password if both matches the new password is accepted the password must be at least eight characters long and contains user uppercase and lowercase letters at least one number and one special uh, character uh, if one of these requirements is not met, the program shall uh, print a warning. Okay, for this we are going to st uh, start a new project, console application, name it and create it. And it appears a window with uh, those uh, name spaces or, uh, uh, or classes and uh, in the class program we are going to have a few uh, global variables uh, of form static static string okay is one okay one oh, why okay two why x s and p s the password it is that one and uh, sd also uh, why and all of them for repetition and one password and in main method we are going to tell while st equals y if you want continue we are going to ask do you want to change your password yes or no if uko equals yes we are going to read it in uko if uko is yes uh, we call uh, we use uh, uko1 equal y for another loop and we are going to uh, call to start one method and in the start one we are going to uh, ask if we want change or not else if uko is not we are going to use still equals uh, no and it's going to finish the program because it this while st is no and it finishes the uh, program um, then we are going to uh, create a method uh, start one and we are going to ask please enter your current password and we are going to read it in x and check one x is true we are going to check if it is correct password uh, and we are going to use while uko1 equals y we are going to call uh, put uko2 y for another loop and we are going to call the uh, start to method uh, asking for new password and uh, if it is false check one is false it is not correct and we are going to give an error message uh, false uh, current password do you want to start from the beginning yes or no and we are going to put the uh, result in uko and then we are going to make a start to method and we are going to uh, ask please enter your desired password and then list eight characters list a number list a lowercase list uppercase and list a sign and we are going to put the result in uh, <coughs> in uh, variable s 
and it is the new password desired password is new password if check 2 s is true if it is correct for it's uh, matches all those uh, requirements we are going to use var uko 2 is y we are going to start the third method start 3 uh, third method for repeat the new password if it is not correct you have entered an incorrect new password do you want to try again yes or no and put it in oko1 and then in star 3 we are going to use uh, ask please re-enter the new password and we are going to put the result in PS and if check 3S and PS is true your password has been changed successfully do you want to continue yes or no and put it in SD if it is not true if it is not correct you are going the new password doesn't match please re-enter your new password and put the result and call it again and you are going to uh, put the same it's uh, changed successfully do you want continue if you want continue you put the uh, result in st else it doesn't match uh, in incorrect do you want continue yes or no and you are going to put the result in okoto two in chai in check uh, this uh, checks the new password a string special characters is uh, we are going to use a, a special characters and you are going to use these characters and uh, we are going to use at symbol at the beginning instead of use a slash a slash a slash this one a slash this one you are going to use uh, at uh, sign before the whole string and uh, for each variable item in special care if s dot contains item return true else return false in check one of a string if x equals ps uko is no and return true else return false in check two the new password is correct if s dot any char dot is of upper and s any char is lower and s any char dot is digit and check s equals true uko one n and return true s return false in check three we are going to ask uh, we are going to check if s1 equals to s for uh, re-enter the password uko2 is no and return true else return false okay i hope that you have uh, paused in each step and uh, copy the source codes we are going to run this program control f5 enter your uh, do you want I want change my password yes and we are going to use uh, this one 
uh, until you desired I am going to use um, FM Must be eight characters for six and um, T Y. Please re enter F M N that one three five T Y. Your passport has been changed successfully. Do you want to continue? We are going to use yes. And uh, do you want to change your password? We are going to use the yes. And this is FMN-35 TY. And I am going to use another You have enter incorrect because it doesn't match those things. Do you want? Do you want to try again? Yes. And I am going to use uh, yes. Yes, I am that dash nine. It is incorrect. It is doesn't match because I is lower case. I am going to use this one. Yes, I am. Symbol nine and okay, your passport has been changed successfully. Do you want to continue? No, because everything is okay. Okay, it was all in this tutorial. See you on next tutorial.